Welcome back to another episode of Plant Based Dads. I'm Joey. We are a vegan, mostly whole food cooking channel. We do some product reviews. Sometimes there's some episodes with Tim. If you like what you hear so far, please hit that like button. Show us some love. And please think about subscribing and becoming part of the Plant Based Dads family. We do have a Patreon page set up. Our Patreons are our monthly financial supporters that help us put the show together and get the plant based message out to the public. If you've ever seen the show or if you're in the Facebook group and you've thought, how can I help? How can I be part of this? That's how you can help. You can become a uh, Patreon monthly financial supporter or you can do a one time donation in PayPal. There's a link to Patreon and Patra PayPal below this video in the description. It's spring and I'm loving it. I don't know if you can see that, but all those red things hanging, those are our bottle brush blooms. We've got two bottle brush trees back there. You can only see one right here, but it is just filled with fresh bottle brush bloom, fresh bottle brush, you know what I'm saying, fresh blooms. And they are absolutely beautiful. It's just like a telltale sign of spring. Even here in the desert, we've got signs like that. Uh, I absolutely love this time of year. Stuff's growing, I can sit outside, uh, I can hear the water from the fountain, I can be around the trees and the hummingbirds are there. It's absolutely beautiful. All right, it's the first Monday of the month, which means today starts our 21 day starch challenge in the group and on Facebook. Every month we have a, a monthly 21 day challenge to get people on board to do the uh, high, high starch, low fat way of eating. You know, if it's something you've been wanting to do but didn't know where to start, every month we have one of these challenges to get you started. Today's recipe is perfect for that because it's my garlic chickpeas with uh, Swiss chard. This recipe came about because I had the Swiss chard growing in the raised, uh, the raised beds outside. If you've seen the show that you know that. I've got a, a, a soup that I make with Swiss chard for the same reason because I want to use the Swiss chard up. The white bean and Swiss chard soup, link to that right here. That soup is absolutely amazing. Uh, so this is another Swiss chard recipe. If you're growing Swiss chard, there's a perfect way to use some of that up. You can also use kale too. Uh, it's pretty versatile. The thing I love about this dish is it's all your 50-50 in one shot. It's your non-starchy vegetables, it's your starchy vegetables. It's ready to go as soon as you make it. You don't need to add anything to it. All right, because of the spices and the garlic in this dish, it's absolutely delicious. I can't wait to show it to you. Let's get to the food. The first thing you're going to need is some fresh cut greens. I'm using Swiss chard right from my garden. Look how beautiful this Swiss chard is. The leaves are just amazing. The color is so vibrant green. This recipe is a great opportunity to use this beautiful Swiss chard right from my raised bed garden. I used all that I harvested, but this is about 10 to 12 ounces of Swiss chard. Next, I'm making a little tear at the bottom so I can pull off the stem in one shot. But don't throw those stems out. We're going to chop those up like celery. I'm just continuing on as I pull all the stems out. I'm making a stack for the stems and a stack for the leaves. You can see right here, the stems look just like celery. We're going to use this in our meal. I want to use every bit of that Swiss chard. Next, I'm going to grab my Dahl Strong Mini Santuku knife. It's the perfect knife to cut these stalks. There's a link below the video where you can get your own Dahl Strong knife. Here I'm just lining up the stalks and I'm going to cut them into little slices. The same way I chop up celery when I'm making a soup. You can see here I've got a bowl of fresh cut sliced stem. This will be a great base for my recipe. Now it's time to take these stems to the sink and get cleaned. Next I've got my leaves that have been washed and ready to use. All right, now check out what I'm gonna do here. I'm just gonna lay these leaves out. I'm not chopping them up, I'm just laying them out and I'm gonna lay them on top of each other. All kind of nestled in each other. And I'm gonna keep stacking them till I have a nice amount here to work with. Then I'm gonna grab them by the edge and just roll them up. I used to live in Tampa and this is how they roll cigars. It was so fascinating to watch. Then I'm gonna just start slicing into small little slices. This is gonna create ribbons. And I'm gonna work my way all the way down till it's all sliced up. You can see here as I pick them up and throw them into the bowl, I've sliced them into nice little ribbons. This is going to make for a beautiful presentation for my meal. Now I've got my nicely cleaned stalks and they're ready to go also. Next, I'm taking about six cloves of garlic and I'm just slicing them into little slices. You can see here, we're kind of sliced up and ready to go. Let's start cooking. I'm gonna grab my non-stick scan pan and throw a little bit of water in to get the saute going. Once that water starts steaming, like it is here, it's time to throw in the stalks. I'm just gonna sprinkle them in. I'm also gonna add a little bit of salt so I can sweat the stalks. Now I'm using my spoon and give this a little mixy mixy. 
and I'm gonna let that cook for about five minutes. Now I'm not using oil here, so if you need to add more water while this is happening, then do it. After about five minutes, I'm gonna dump in my garlic slices. I'm gonna get that all moved around just so everything cooks together. Next, I'm adding my beautiful sliced Swiss chard here. All of this is still wet from washing, so there's already plenty of water in here. I'm just gonna move that around with my wooden spoon. I wanna kinda of get it all mixed throughout. I wanna get the garlic mixed into the leaves and the stalks and all of that. I also added a little bit of salt, and then I let all this cook for about five minutes until all of the leaves are wilted. After about five minutes, it was time to dump in my chickpeas. I've got a 15 ounce can of chickpeas rinsed and drained right here. I'm gonna use my wooden spoon and give that a little mixy mixy to get it all combined. Look at the colors, it already looks amazing. The vibrant green is like a beautiful backsplash against a plain kitchen. Then I'm gonna add in some uh, black pepper. I'm just using this black pepper from Trader Joe's here. I'm gonna give that a nice little grinding there. I love me some pepper. Then I'm gonna use my uh, wooden spoon and make sure that it all gets combined. And I'm just gonna let this cook for a little while longer till the peas are heated up and everything's heated through. Now it's time to give it a little taste. Look how good that looks. That's got health written all over it. And it's good. We have a winner. Let's start plating up. So I've got a plate here and I'm gonna use a slotted spoon and dump this all onto a plate. Of course, we have some rebellion here that I've gotta take care of. And you can have plenty of this because it's all goodness right here. Then I've got a little bit of lemon. I'm just gonna squeeze on the top here for flavor. And then I did a little slice here just for the picture so I'd have a nice lemon garnish on here too. And there you have it. A beautiful plate of garlic chickpeas with Swiss chard. Doesn't that look amazing? I gotta tell you, I had this for lunch right after I filmed it and it was absolutely delicious. It's a great 50-50 plate and it's a wonderful way to get in some great vitamins and minerals. All right, that's our video for today. Please hit that like button. Show us some love. What's not to like? If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button, click that bell, and you'll get notified every time we have a new video, usually every Monday. And please, leave a comment below. Did you grow Swiss chard this year? You can use spinach in this recipe too if you grew that, or you can just buy it from the store. What are your thoughts on this recipe? All right, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>